To open your mouth a little bit, so for this beautiful young lady, today we're going to do lip filler. So the white thing, open a little bit more, is the numbing medicine. So we'll wipe this, we numbed her lips. I'm starting with the lower lip. Usually the lower lip is uh, not as painful as the upper lip. Uh, so we'll give more time for the upper lip to numb even more. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is the swift technique. I like to do this most of the time. It's because uh, I'll numb, you know, this is Juvederm Volbella. As I start to inject, I numb the area as well. I open my mouth a little bit more. So the filler, it has numbing medicine. So I start from here, from the corner. And I'm watching everything, the depth on a lot of different things. And all the way, and as it starts coming back, I am injecting the filler again because the filler has numb in medicine so the next injection point will be numb or a little bit more numb from the injection so we injected this area right and I'm gonna start from here and then there's some numb in medicine there from the filler injected again most of the fillers nowadays are mixed with the numb in medicine so make sure that you're not allergic to uh, that lidocaine, novocaine, all that stuff. If you are, make sure your injector knows about this. Uh, so a little bit more injection. Again, as I'm injecting here, she's gonna be more and more numb. You could tell like some areas be a little bit more tender than others. Uh, okay. Okay, give her a little break. And then you have stress ball if you like. <laughs> so some people like that as well. So make sure as well, you know, as a patient, if there's anything to make you more comfortable, let uh, your injector know. But because honestly, each one, each individual, is different. So you wouldn't know what is good for one person, what they like, what they don't like. I have some people like, for example, they like the fan to be on. They like ice or something in a stress ball. Some people are like, no, don't give me stress ball, you know. So I don't like to treat every patient the same. I like to ask them and as a patient yourself, uh, just let whoever is injecting you know what makes you comfortable during the procedure. Okay. So we're almost done with the lower lip. I'm always looking, so I'm injecting 0.3 cc so far. Uh, you know, when we started her lip ratio, upper and lower lip were all good. So we're gonna keep that ratio. So I'm gonna inject the same amount in the lower and into the upper lip. And if you notice some areas at the beginning, if we're injecting it for the first time, be a little tender here and there, but overall it's doable. Okay, and then you can see there's no much blood actually, which is great. That's good. Open your mouth a little bit. Uh, and now we almost injected the whole lower lip so i'm gonna inject and inject a little bit more but she'll be really comfortable because all the area is injected for injector you know some sometimes you know if you learn during injection to inject the filler between the dry mucosa and the white mucosa i don't recommend that when you do that a lot of the filler will go to the white mucosa and form what's called mucosils and the filler will migrate because this is an area of low resistance so if you inject at the border they're gonna go there uh, so I always prefer the dry mucosa and the, in the middle. Okay, sometimes the patient is wide here, so it can go like two directions, but still in the dry mucosa. So let me go to the other side as well. We're still finishing up the lower lip actually. This looks good. Here, the pillow here will maybe add a little bit. I'm always try to look and be vigilant and make sure I'm injecting symmetrical. Uh, but you have to be careful as an injector, you know. Uh, don't rely when you start injecting too much on what you see because a lot of the volume you see is from the swelling. So always take a good picture of how the patient lips look like and try to inject uh, and plan the injection ahead of time 
if you need to inject both sides similar so look at the volume more than at how the lips really look because again uh, some of that what you see is swollen so when the lips settle then a lot of the swelling uh, goes away and the area that you inject first is gonna swell first so it'll be like more look look, look, uh, look bigger than the other side uh, okay so here more or less look good for whatever reason okay I feel this little is bigger gonna come back and then All right, that's good. So now I'm going to give her a little break. Okay, so now we move on to the uh, upper lip. Look at me a little bit and look up and open your mouth a little tiny. Okay, perfect. The same thing. We're going to do the uh, swift technique. We start from the corner and then we start advancing. So. And I'm looking at the depth, I'm looking at everything. This is what I said when you go to dry mucosa of two vectors. So this is the first one. Uh, I change it a little bit. And this is the second one. Okay, good. And the same here. Now we'll go another vector here. And then I do a little bit for the cupid's bow, so I measure the distance and I go up, go a little bit. She already has it, doesn't like it, doesn't want it to be augmented too much, so I'm not going to focus too much on that. Okay, so that's good. Let me just put a little bit more. Yeah, okay. like this open your mouth a little bit and this is more or less the last injection on this side that's good so I'm looking how much we use so that's good actually and perfect we have one more side the left upper lip and then we'll be done Okay, let's get close. <laughs> Look at me again, and that's a good angle. You could see how this is full, and this is like we're gonna start. And she wanted this part to be fuller, which I did. And here, the same thing, so another swift technique here. Start injecting. Okay. Okay, almost done. Again, this area, most of it is injected now. All right, so. So, Juvederm Volbella is nice and soft filler in hair, especially she has small mouth, small lips, so that's perfect choice for hair. Uh, it'll just show a big difference. Okay. Well, that's, that's it. Looks good.